Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this extended moss stitch afghan square. This is week two, option two of the Make It Your Way crochet along if you are joining me for that. So this square today is a beautifully textured square. It's the same on both sides. I am working it in a worsted weight yarn. It's a 100% acrylic yarn uh, called Vanna's Choice by Lion Brand. And today I'll be working in the color Shadow. You're also going to need a six millimeter crochet hook or a J10 and a copy of the free written pattern which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me today here for this crochet along. If you haven't heard of the crochet along, be sure again check out the description of this video and I'll have a direct link there for you uh, to the post with all of the information about it. So this channel is updated every single week with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials so be sure to subscribe and follow along. Our square today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. Now if you're working the square as I am today, you're going to need a total of 113 yards of worsted weight yarn uh, to make this square. I neglected to mention that at the beginning. So you're going to need 113 yards per square. You're going to make your slip knot and then make a foundation chain. And your foundation chain today is going to be 34 stitches. If you need to change the size of your square, my square will measure approximately 10 and a half or 11 inches um, by 10 and a half inches. If you're going to change the size, you're going to need an even number of stitches for this foundation chain. Today I'm going to chain 34. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of this row, you're going to have a total of 33 stitches. At the end of row one, you're going to chain four and your chain four counts as a double crochet and chain one. And then turn your work. For row two, you're going to skip the first stitch at the base of your, of your turning chain because this counts as a double crochet and a chain one. You're going to skip the next stitch and work a double crochet into the next. Chain one skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next stitch all the way across for row two. At the end of row two, chain one and turn your work. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. So you're going to begin row three by working a half double crochet into the top of the first stitch, which is that double crochet. You're then going to work a long double crochet, working over the top of the next chain space and into the skip stitch down below. To work your long double crochet, yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work and insert it into that skip stitch two rows below. Yarn over and draw up a loop to the height of your half double crochet. Yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two more. 
You're then going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and repeat. Long double crochet into the next skipped stitch two rows below. Chain one, long double crochet into the next skip stitch two rows below. Repeat that all the way across until you come to your final stitch. When you come all the way across at the end of row three, you'll have your starting chain four. You're going to finish off this row by working a half double crochet in the third chain of that starting chain four. You can then chain one and turn your work. For row four, we're going to begin by working a half double crochet into this first stitch, chain one, skip the next stitch, and work a long double crochet into the next skip stitch two rows below. So it's into the top of your long double crochet. You're going to repeat chain one, skip the next stitch, long double crochet into the top of the skip stitch two rows below. Now as it is a long double crochet you may find that it's kind of folded over a little bit. That's okay. Just uh, still find the top of it, insert your hook, and work your long double crochet stitch. So repeat that all the way across to your final stitch. Long double crochet, chain one, skip one, long double crochet. When you come all the way across at the end of your row four, chain one, skip one, and then half double crochet into your final stitch. You can then chain one and turn your work. Now for rows five through to 27, you are going to repeat rows three and four ending on a row three. So your row three began with the half double crochet in the first stitch, followed by your long double crochet, chain one, skip one, long double crochet, and then a repeat of the row four, which we just worked together. So you're going to repeat rows three and four until you reach row 27, and uh, finish off on a repeat of row three, and then meet me back here. Once you've worked through to row 27, this is what your work from the beginning looks like, and you finished off on a row three. What we're going to do for row 28 is we're going to work one more row to kind of close off these top gaps at the top of our square. So you're going to start row 28 by chaining one and then turn your work. First, you're going to work a half double crochet into that first stitch. You're then going to work a half double crochet into the top of the next long double crochet. Next, work a long double crochet working into that skip stitch two rows below. We're now going to repeat working a half double crochet into the top of our next stitch followed by a long double crochet into the next. Half double crochet into our next stitch, long double crochet into our next. Repeat that all the way across and you're going to end with a half double crochet into your final stitch. At the end of your row 28, work a half double crochet into that final stitch. 
You're now going to chain one and turn your work. We've now finished the body of our square and we're going to work a simple edging around the outside edge. Now for my square I'm working this in order to make the Make It Your Way blanket crochet along. So in keeping with my other squares I'm going to work 34 single crochet stitches evenly across the top. Now as I only have 33 stitches across the top of my square. It means that at some point, perhaps right now, I'm going to work two single crochet into the same stitch and then keep going all the way across. You'll want to have 34 stitches worked evenly across the top if you've changed the size of your square or changed the number of stitches across. Uh, that's okay. Just make sure that you take note of it so that you can keep all of your same your sti uh, squares <laughs> the same number of stitches along each side. It just makes it a little bit easier for joining your squares together. Once you come all the way across the top of your square, you're going to work a single crochet into that corner stitch. You're then going to continue working along this rough edge, once again working 34 single crochet stitches all the way across. When you come to your next corner stitch, work one stitch in the corner, turn so that you're working along the bottom, and work 34 stitches across your bottom, one in your corner, and then across up to the top, where you'll work one in your final corner and join, which I will show you uh, when I come across. When you come all the way around, having worked single crochet stitches, 34 on each side and one in each corner, you're going to work your final single crochet in the corner and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You can then fasten off, weave in your ends and block the square if desired. If you're doing the make it your way crochet along, you will want to make three more of these squares so that you have four in total. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe, check out some of the other videos, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.